fell in love with this person. I had a baby with him. There was something good about him that I saw. You know, how, how did that all disappear? He beat, beat me up and, you know, dragged me along the floor. And I thought to myself, you know, if he can do this to a pregnant woman, I don't know what this man is capable of. It's tough, you know, I mean, two gay guys, why don't you just kill yourself? What's up, what's up? or why do you stay? He used to tell me, if you ever leave me, I will find you and I will kill you. I was like a slave. I didn't have the courage to leave. And he knew it. But I didn't know how to get out. I was already in it, I was way in it. Once I moved in with my partner, we decided that I was gonna quit my job. And after that happened, it was like my life just changed. And I was dependent on someone and I was constantly being told that I was dependent on someone. And to the point where I didn't even have keys to my apartment. My mom was physically abusive as well as verbally abusive. So meeting a partner who was similar, even though I meant like knew that that's wrong, but it felt very comfortable, like it's normal. I lost everything. I was just in, I was just a body walking. I was dying and part of me was like, my children deserve a mother who's happy. My children deserve a mother. You could have killed my child and I was not there. I said, that's it, this is it, I have to go. It was like treading water with my son in one arm, my daughter in the other. I see land somewhere over there and I'm trying to get to land and, and here's their father over there swimming with the sharks. And I'm like, well, I can't help him and the us. We can't do all this. It was just like smoke creeping underneath the door. And, and the next thing you know, the room is filled with smoke and you just can't get out. You just can't get out. But you know there's a way out. Well, somebody met me from Sanctuary and she took me to lunch, you know, and that was an, an amazing thing. I, it was like I had, I wasn't alone anymore, that there was somebody who, and I really felt that this individual cared. I was hooked up with a therapist here, and uh, she's good. <laughs> she really is good. I really think she sees something. She sees this person that has been kind of, kind of buried, kind of buried for years and years and years, and slowly she's trying to pull him out. The first question they asked me was, are you willing? Are you willing, if you are willing, for us to help you, we will help you. When I came here, I started with the DV, the domestic violence group that they have that informs you about what is domestic violence. And I was surprised to hear that so many things I thought are just normal are abuse. The behavior is not okay. It's just not. It doesn't, it's not, it's not, it has nothing to do with me. If somebody pisses me off, I don't get a crowbar out of the closet. So why was that okay? It's not okay. I had to learn how to create boundaries for myself. I had to learn how to develop a voice for myself. I had to learn how to say no. They fix the cracked foundation and that allows you to build larger. That allows you to build stronger. And from there, you can build whatever dream you want. They give women the tools, the knowledge and skills so they can go out in the workforce and sell themselves, market themselves, and acquire jobs. Actually, today, I went on an interview <laughs> at a really prestigious hospital. I'm getting another program that's gonna prepare me to open my own business. So I'm working on that and have a goal and have dreams again. This program is working with women to empower them so that they are financially independent, so they will never depend on somebody else and be stuck in a place where they can never get out and they can actually grow. They didn't do this just for me because my kids too, every step of the way, they will call me, mommy, what's going on today? Do you have a test today? Do you have a class today? And I say, yeah. They'll be like, mommy, we can't believe it. You're going back to school, you're doing things. Wow, you inspire us. There is a hopeful woman out there who are going through the slavery, the abuse. I didn't have clothes food, 
I was like empty handed. I didn't have anything, but I'm going to college this year, which is the greatest thing. I want to work for United Nations under human rights. I'm not going to stop until I see everybody out of slavery. I'm not going to stop our fight. I'll stand here to be their voice. When I look back and I think of everything, I no longer feel like a victim. I feel like a victor. I don't feel stuck anymore. I don't feel lost at all. I feel, I feel found. It's important for us as society to invest in people's well-being so we can all empower each other and become better citizens. And if I'm able to do well because of Sanctuary support, I will be able to support somebody else because of that. <laughs>